Hi, my name is Kelly Herman, and I'm the Director of Disability Services for SUNY Empire State College. And yes, everything I ever needed to know about disability services, I did indeed learn from candy. Don't believe me? Well, let me just show you. Our first candy is Hershey's Special Dark. Many people love dark chocolate, and the word special has a very significant meaning in the disability world. It is the word that's used to describe the services that are provided to students in the elementary, primary, and secondary levels of education here in the United States. Special Education. The Individuals with Disabilities Education Act. And this law, also known as IDEA, only applies to the K-12 system in the U.S. IDEA provides individuals with disabilities with a free and appropriate education in the least restrictive environment possible in the K-12 environment. Once students enter higher or post-secondary educational settings, the laws pertaining to the provision of accommodations are civil rights laws, not education laws. One of my favorites, the 100 grand bar. What on earth does this candy bar have to do with disability services in higher education? Institutions of higher education are subject to the provisions of Section 504 of the Rehabilitation Act of 1973. The law stipulates that any recipient of federal funds, also known as financial aid and grant monies, must not discriminate against individuals solely on the basis of their disabilities. A more well-known law, the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990, also applies to institutions of higher education either because they are public institutions covered under the provision of Title II, which apply to state and local governments, or because they are places of public accommodation and are subject to the provision of Title III. Both laws work in concert together to ensure that individuals with disabilities are not subject to discrimination. I bet you are all singing the Kit Kat jingle in your head right now. Give me a break, give me a break. And that's exactly what I want you to be thinking about. Many times, people without disabilities think that accommodations provided to students with disabilities are breaks, that those students are somehow getting an unfair advantage by using accommodations and their workload is easier. The opposite tends to be true. Using accommodations to study is much more time intensive and difficult than people think. And it's also important to remember that accommodations are provided to ensure that the student with a disability has access to the educational opportunities offered by the college or university. They are not provided to ensure that the student with a disability is successful. That's the student's job. Three Musketeers, my favorite. There are three Musketeers of accommodations, if you will, and that is the three things that reasonable accommodations do not do. First, reasonable accommodations do not reduce course or program standards. And this means that no one will expect a faculty member to change his or her grading criteria just because the student has a disability. Second, they also do not fundamentally alter the nature of the course or the program of study. We once had a student in our online programs at the college request to turn her online course into a print-based correspondence course like we used to offer before our switch to the online programs. That would have fundamentally altered the nature of her course and removed any peer-to-peer -peer interaction and learning opportunities that were present in the course, so we had to deny her request. And lastly, reasonable accommodations do not pose an undue burden on the institution or the individual faculty member. So if you are teaching an online course, you should not expect your disability services office will ask you to meet with the student in person, online, or even over the phone on a daily basis, even if the student has an approved accommodation of more frequent phone or email contact. This accommodation is meant to be a periodic check-in, maybe once a week at most, to assist the student in processing the written information in the online course. Whoppers, also known as stretching the truth or even outright lying. It's difficult to trust that a student is being forthright and honest about his or her needs, particularly when that request comes right before a high stakes part of the course, such as a written assignment or an exam. 
This is why it is important for faculty and the Disability Services Office to work closely together. Students are required to provide some proof to the college, typically to the Disability Services Office, of their diagnosis and need for accommodations. This is typically accomplished either through a conversation or a structured interview with the disability services staff at your institution. This is one of the many reasons why it is important for faculty to refer a student who has expressed some concerns or made requests related to a disabling condition to the disability services office. Disability services will vet the student's information, determine what is reasonable, and talk with the student about the realities of using accommodations. Disability services will also notify faculty on the student's behalf, so faculty can trust that information and students don't have to explain all of the nuances of their private information. And last but not least, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Who remembers those first commercials where one guy is walking along with a chocolate bar and another is walking with an open jar of peanut butter? They collide and realize that their treats were even better together than they were apart. That's exactly like the relationship between disability services and faculty on a college campus. The role of faculty is to guide students in, in his or her learning. The role of disability services is to ensure that the student can access those learning opportunities. Together with the students, we are all partners in that accommodation process. Thanks for watching and learning more about disability services from Candy too. I bet you won't be able to look at one of those candy bars in the future without thinking about disability services.